All right, so happy Tuesday. And what I think I want to work on today a little bit, and I think I know, I know, is um, just the idea of the energy of upliftment, of really moving into the ability to look around and um, totally internalize the reality of what a miracle everything we see is, everything we are is. You know, there's so much in this world that instills fear, that instills, um, you know, the energy of that uh, anticipatory anxiety in us. And I talk to people time and time and time again, and so much of the angst that we go through is the energy of this anticipatory anxiety, looking ahead at what's to come, or holding on to the grief from the past, the things we've lost, the regrets. And when we can really move into the present moment and look at the miracle that we are, that every step we take is, that every breath we take is, that every flower that blooms and every time the sun rises, what a miracle all that is. And to really embrace the energy that we are part of that miracle, that we are made of that, then it becomes really easy to fill ourselves with the energy of excitement for being alive in this moment, for feeling every feeling that comes our way, whether it is, you know, sadness, like we were just talking, you know, before class about those mixed emotions, right? Different, um, different situations, different events evoke this energy of excitement and, and, you know, joy. And at the same time, this energy of grief, of letting go, of missing what once was. To be able to embrace all of that together at once in this moment, there's so much power in that. And then from that place, being able to walk through this world in that energy, having that energy move through our own electromagnetic fields and support those around us and in stepping into that energy. Because I know for me, whenever something happens, you know, and, and I go into that state of, of fear or panic and I can't breathe, I need to reach out. I need to find somebody else's perspective. I need somebody else to remind me of what a miracle I am, to remind me to step into this moment that right here, right now, all is well. I know that for you, but when I'm in the middle of it for me, I need a reminder. I need people to hold that place. And so the more that we ourselves clear and become that space for others, the more we surround ourselves with people that can do that for us. You know, and I think that that is really and truly how community is built, true community. Because people can com commune around anything. Like I've known plenty of people and I've been that person that communes around the energy of disaster and fear and sadness. Like there's some kind of, some kind of attraction to that train wreck, right? So as we move through this energy and we notice the miracles that we are and the miracles that surround us, we move more away from that attraction to you know, slowing down and watching the accident and more into the energy of looking for the miracle of the moment, the healing of the moment, the joy of the moment. So good stuff to work on, I think. We'll do it in a really beautiful way. So close your eyes, bring your palms together at your heart. We'll open with Om Namo, Guru Dev Namo. Nice deep inhale. Om. Energy of your own excellence 
your own wisdom to flow up and around and through. Feeling the vibration of the miracle of you, the uniqueness of you, the interconnection of you with everything else. Moving into our next chant, Agade Name, three times together. Agade Name, Juga, Gade Name, Sat, Gade Name, Siri Guru Deve. Name Sad Gure Name Siri Guru Deve Name Ad Gure Name Jugad Gure Name Sad Gure Name Siri Guru Deve Name Pause and let it settle. And inhaling deeply, prayer to the sky. Stretch up, squeeze everything up. Allow your physical body to be a container for this amazing pranic energy that animates you and animates me. And then exhaling slowly, arms wide around, basking in the miracle of your being, your energy. Fingers moving toward the earth, connecting to that sensation of nourishment and grounding. Feel that rising up from your fingertips and your seat, moving through every cell of your body and just say to yourself, I belong. I claim my place here in this physical realm. And I bring to it my divine wisdom, compassion, love. Take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your nose. Bring your palms to your knees. Begin spinal flexes, warming up that spine. Feeling that sensation of the rocking of your root, your sit bones. Everything moving in unison like this beautiful choir. Every cell of your body moving in cooperation with your request, your focus, your desire. Think about that. What a miracle the body is. Right? All we do is think it. And as we're thinking it, and as we're making that request, the body does it. And when it doesn't, it's the body tapping us on the shoulder and saying, something needs attention here. Think the brain. Many of us think the brain is intelligent, and it is to some degree, but the brain only does what it's asked to do. It's not the asker, even though we think it is. So the brain is a great worker bee. It's the higher mind 
that which is connected to spirit, when we're consciously aware of that, then the mind is a great worker bee. When we're not, the mind is a great mimic, reactor, repeater of the past, warrior. Really dive into the energy of your physical being, of your emotional being, of your mental being, of all the subtle bodies. Maybe for the next few movements forward and back, imagine that you can see the layers of you, different colors moving forward and back, every single layer. The miracle of the merging of all of those layers into what the earth calls Jan and Lydia and Eileen. Next time you come forward, stay. Really move that heart out and imagine yourself receiving beautiful energy from the heavens. Like a recharge, like a plugging in to your power source. And then relax to a neutral spine, eyes closed. Just do a few gentle neck rolls. Three or four on one side, connecting the breath. And then when you're ready, three or four on the other. When you're finished, just come to stillness. We're going to move into a breath meditation. It's called Three Stroke Breath for Health, Energy, and Radiance. So it addresses health and well being on the different levels of our being. So you're going to take your right hand, take your left hand, place it in your right hand, and you're going to clasp like you're holding your hands. So the right fingers are going to be on top of the left hand. The left finger is going to wrap around the side of the right. The thumbs are going to cross. doesn't matter which is on top. You're going to hold that in front of your heart. You're going to take three strokes of breath in through the mouth. And when, as you take each stroke, you're going to pulse your hands together. So it's going to be... And then hands stay clasped, but relax as you exhale through your nose in one long stroke. So... Eyes are going to be softly closed. No particular focus. Let the body relax. Notice your shoulders. Make sure they're nice and relaxed across the top. Notice your face, your brow. So everything relax as you begin to breathe. Just keep going. Keep your mind on the breath. Conscious awareness. Heavy such. 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 Heavy
After the next exhale, inhale really deeply through your nose. Hold the hands really tight. Squeeze them. Squeeze the center of your body. Everything as tight as you can. And hold it and squeeze. And we're not going to exhale yet, but when we are, it's going to be a big cannonball out through the mouth. Hold, hold, hold. Exhale. <sighs> inhale. Squeeze even tighter, tight as you can. Just squeeze everything together. Everything concentrated up the central channel, moving up, moving down. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale as deeply as you can. Squeeze, focus, concentrate, condense. And let it go. Hands on your knees, eyes closed. Feeling the effects. Really feeling the effects, noticing. As we do these practices, how easily we can shift things on all levels. Conscious present awareness. Probably the most effective energy available to us, conscious present awareness. Then with your eyes remaining closed, begin to circle your pelvis around your hips. Nice deep hip rolls. Circulating, moving. I love the energy of when we move everything up and down that central channel to the file, follow it by some kind of movement, shaking or rolling. Dispersing that energy that we have gathered. Move in the other direction. And come to stillness. We're going to move into our Kriya. And it's a Kriya for the kidneys. The kidneys are really important this time of year to eliminate the excess that we have from the winter. Well, all that mucusy stuff that goes on in our bodies right now as everything around us melts. Right? We start to let go of all that we've gathered. So the kidneys are super important. So you're going to bring your legs out in front of you. You sit up on a little blanket if you'd like. Your arms are going to come straight out, thumbs up. You're going to bring the fingers into the pads of your hands. So the fingers are curled in, thumbs are up. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, lean forward. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. It doesn't have to be a huge motion. Just keep rocking back and forth, bringing the breath, eyes closed. Thank you. 
Let your breath be nice and powerful. You may notice as you move, as time goes on, the breath gets even heavier and more powerful. It finds its pattern. Halfway there, keep going. Almost there. 20 more seconds. Next time you come up, stay up. Lean back. Take a nice deep inhale. Hold the breath in. Hold, hold, hold. Exhale completely, letting yourself fold forward a little bit, letting your hands rest down on your knees or your thighs. Just pause for a moment. Breathe. And then slowly come up, make your way to your back. And you're going to bend your knees, plant your feet, bring them nice and close to your butt once you're there. You have two choices here. If you can bring your heels real close to your butt and actually reach down and grab your ankles, do that. Or just let your hands rest on the floor pointing towards your heels. And we're going to inhale the hips up and exhale them down. And inhale them up, exhale them down. Your feet are going to remain relaxed, your neck relaxed. But you just raise the buttocks, press the navel point up, and then exhale down. This exercise works on the kidneys, on the neck, on the urinary tract. Right? It stimulates the pituitary gland as well to secrete, so it's a very powerful movement. Let the breath move you. Not very long here, just keep going.
less than a minute. Next time that your hips come to the floor, let them settle there. You can move your feet a little further away from your body, maybe as wide as the mat and let your knees move in toward each other and just rest. large part of not being able to be so present for the miracle of the moment is our inability to let go, to release. We were talking about that poem. And the kidneys have so much to do with elimination, eliminating the water, letting the water move through. Water cleanses us. It gently transforms, fire transforms in a very powerful way. Water is powerful too, but in a very gentle way. And water defines the path of least resistance. And then it constantly runs and moves until it carves great canyons out of solid rock. Very subtle, powerful energy. Allowing that to move through us allows us to change and grow and evolve. As you lay here, see if you can feel the energy of water, the creative, emotional, powerful energy as it moves through your body and soul in many different ways. From here, you're going to bring your knees into your chest and rock up and down on your spine, bringing yourself up to a seat, and then immediately transitioning into tabletop. From here, you're going to plant your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips, and begin cat-cow, but a very exaggerated cat-cow, really stretching your heart forward and really arching that back. Let your breath move very powerfully with your spine. Exaggerating the movements. As if your spine were made of silly putty. Come to center, you're going to stretch your left leg back and up as high as you can and hold it there. 30 seconds, just hold it and breathe. If 
Long deep breath, halfway there. Inhale that leg up as high as you can. Exhale, bring it down to the mat. We'll do a few hip rolls here. And then as you come back to center, lift the right leg up and back. 30 seconds, hold, breathe. Let your mind be present. Feel the strength of your body. Be so aware of how absolutely magnificent and strong you are. Notice any messages that your body is sending to you. Notice any resistance in your mind. Almost there. Inhale that leg up as high as you can. Exhale, bring it down to the mat. Bring the left leg back up and begin to kick your heel toward your butt. Up and down, up and down. Just keep on kicking your own butt. <laughs> We're all pretty good at that, right? <laughs> Inhale the left leg up to the sky. Bring it back down to the mat. Right leg out, knee bent. Begin to kick, kick, kick. Giving those kidneys a good workout here. Getting them moving. All that sludge beginning to flow. Everybody's going to have to pee all day after this one. All right. Inhale that leg up to the sky. Exhale down to the mat. Move forward into child's pose for a moment. And then slowly come up, get back onto your backs. Once you get there, bring your knees into your chest. Bring your nose to your knees. Let your body relax as you stay here. And just breathe. I am bountiful. Sing along. Let your body relax. Keep your head up toward your nose, but Try not to crunch everything. See if you can find ease in this pose. And if it really begins to bother your neck, let your neck relax down. If you haven't already, lower your head down. And just keep singing along. Beautiful, I am. I am bountiful, blissful, and beautiful. Bountiful. 
your knees deeply into your chest rock up and down on that spine come on up to sit and you're going to move into a squat which in kundalini is known as crow pose so you could sit on a on a bolster or a lock if you'd like i'm going to be here for a couple of minutes your arms are going to be straight out in front of you oops with a your fingers all extended out and your thumb pressing in to your palm. Just stare straight ahead. Find your balance. Staring straight ahead as though you are standing in this place of authority in this present moment, planted so deeply and securely in this present moment with your eyes moving toward the future, paving the way. For your future focusing projecting what it is that you want to see you want to experience connected so deeply with the miracle of the moment that you are projecting that into the future the energy of the ability to stand firmly in this moment this miracle be experiencing the energy coming up from the earth, moving through your feet, up through your root, up through your chakra system, out through your heart, through your throat, through your crown, your third eye, through those fingers, connecting, projecting, and then begin to chant in the same position, tongue touching the upper palate of your mouth, hod, 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 hod. Close your eyes as you chant. Now connecting that same energy, but through the power of the frequency of your inner nod, your inner sound projecting out into the world. Thirty more seconds here. And then releasing the chant, take a deep inhale, balancing your body, squeeze everything, hold the breath in, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Staying where you are, exhale and relax everything. And then one more time, inhale, squeeze as tight as you can. So everything is pulling up from the ground and except your feet, which are grounding you so deeply. Hold, 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 squeeze. exhale let yourself move back into a comfortable seat and put a blanket underneath you if you'd like just 
Just take a few breaths with your eyes closed. And opening your eyes, you're going to bring both of your hands into Gyan Mudra. The left hand is going to move right in front of your belly, your solar plexus, palm down. Your right hand is going to move up, and you're going to press the fingers back so the palm is kind of up toward the sky. From here, you're going to inhale, and as you inhale, you're going to squeeze everything up so it's going to feel like you're lifting everything up off of the buttocks. So there's very little weight on the buttocks. So hold that for as long as you can. And then you're going to exhale, release everything down except your hands. They're going to stay where they are. And then inhale, squeeze everything up again, feeling all the weight lift off of your buttocks up toward the sky. Hold as long as you can, release and continue that way. It says here to hold for 30 seconds. That's a long time. So that is what you're working toward, but really hold until you can't anymore. Not that you're struggling to not breathe. Try to find ease in that. But don't let your mind tell you when to let it go. Let your body tell you when to let it go. Almost there. Staying in this position, you're going to squeeze the body like you were, keeping the hands where they are. You can let your elbows rest gently against your ribs if you like. And you're just going to keep that upward pull of everything while you chant out loud, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Jio, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Jio. Just keep that upward lift. Just keep chanting. Your breath will begin to become automatically so light as you chant. Maintaining that upward pull one more minute. This is known as Kunchan Mudra. And this whole exercise allows your entire nervous system to totally and completely relax. said that when you do this exercise, it's equal to exercising 
for 48 hours straight. Almost there. After your next Wahe Geo, you're going to inhale everything up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then exhale, release the mudra, release the mantra. Just pause and feel. And ever so slowly with your eyes remaining closed, make your way to your back. Settle into a short Shavasana, letting everything marinate and swirl and rearrange. Yeah. 
slowly begin to deepen your breath. Let your head move from side to side, your fingers and toes begin to wiggle and move. And bring your knees into your chest and your arms out to a T. Let your hips rock over to the right, your gaze to the left. And bring your knees up to center and over to the other side. Back to center, stretch your legs out straight, your arms overhead on the floor, and just really stretch it all out. And then let the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands come together. Rub. Connecting to that inner flame. Knees coming into chest now, rocking up and down on your spine. And bring yourself up to a seat. Place your right palm on your heart center, your left palm over it. Close your eyes, just sing along. Bringing your palms together at your heart. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Please join me in sealing our time together with a long satnam. Inhale deeply. Sa. Sliding your thumbs to the space between your brow, bowing your head into your own amazing, generous, beautiful heart. Be loved, be lieved, be true to you, Satnam. You guys can.